Hello, and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel, a cheeky scientist. And this week's question comes from Carrie Brown uh, on Twitter. What are important things to do during graduate school to prepare for a career in industry? Uh, really three things you want to focus on. Building up your network, getting organized, and then diversifying your job search. Uh, so while you're in graduate school, you're very busy. Um, if you're thinking about transitioning into industry in graduate school, it's either a good sign or a bad sign. It's a good sign because you're thinking uh, very far ahead, um, as you should be. You shouldn't wait till you uh, are two days away from graduating to start um, considering where your career is going. Uh, you shouldn't even wait till you start writing your thesis. Uh, most industry job searches can take anywhere from six months to a year, uh, some taking two years. Uh, so starting early is good. Uh, it can be a bad thing because maybe you're just not happy in academia already and you're ready to get out. Um, but either way, you need to get strategic. And the first thing you need to do is to start to network. And you can really leverage your position as a graduate student to network very effectively. When you're a student and you go to networking events, meetups, um, people are very open and receptive to you as a student. Uh, they don't see you as a threat or a competitor, somebody who might be competing for the same positions. Uh, they're more likely to mentor you and ask you other questions in general. So you want to leverage this position. You want to grow your network as much as possible um, during this time. Second thing you want to do is you want to get organized. Uh, you need to get strategic with your job search. Don't just you know, scan the internet for open positions, see what's available out there, and think you have a good idea of, of the market, the job market. You don't. Uh, you need to get organized, create a spreadsheet, start tracking all the different companies um, that you would want to work for, the different openings uh, in these companies. Start building up your network uh, and, and categorizing your network by companies of, of who works where. Uh, don't just be networking with other people in academia. Start networking and setting up informational interviews with people who are already in industry. And then after you get organized, start um, reaching out to recruiters and hiring managers, even as a student. They'll be receptive of, um, to you because you're a student. Uh, you don't have to say that you know, you're know you two years away from graduating or a year away from graduating. You can just start talking to these people and building relationships with them uh, so that when you get closer to graduating, uh, they may ha might have an idea of some positions that might be right for you. Uh, don't wait until the last moment. And very often, if you build a strong enough, uh, if you draw strong enough relationships with recruiters and hiring managers, uh, you can get them looking for positions for you uh, while you're writing your thesis. Uh, you can get, uh, if you set up enough informational interviews and you network properly and you add enough value to these people, they'll start telling you about open positions and staying in touch with you uh, and doing some of the work for you, again, while you're writing your thesis and you're preparing to defend and get out so that you have lots of job options um, at the time of graduation instead of zero, like most PhDs. Uh, finally, after you get organized, you want to diversify. Don't just think of that one perfect job position or job title that you want. Look for job titles and positions that are lateral to your, you know, your ideal position. Let's say you're certain you want to be a research scientist. Don't be afraid to look for positions that, that are in quality control to start. Uh, even a contract position. Most contract positions for PhDs turn into full-time positions. Uh, certainly, they, they can lead to lots of other uh, networking and industry job opportunities. Uh, don't be afraid to look for, you know, if you're interested in research scientist positions, you can look at project management positions too or application scientist positions. So until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.